Hello and welcome back to Instructor Allison Online Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a differential functions. And the first question we have here is to find the derivative of y with respect to x in the first and the second case. And if you look the shape of the first case, that is just the way it, uh, what we call the the function of a function or chain rule that is the that is the way it takes or that is the policy and then if you want to solve the problem this is what you need to do now the solution is this since we asked to find the derivative of y with respect to this x look at the assumptions i'm going to make let u be represented as 1 plus x raised to the power of 3. At this point, I'm going to differentiate this u with respect to x. So I'll have the u over the x, and the result I will have here is 3x squared. The reason is because the differentiation of 1, which is a constant, is 0. And the differentiation of x raised to the power of 3, using the general formula, which is the y over the x equal to n x to the power of n minus 1. This is the power, which is 3. Anywhere you see n, you can put in 3. I'll have 3 minus 1. This will give us 3x raised to the power of 2. That's how I got this answer. Again, since we made an assumption that u should be represented by all we have in the bracket, it means the expression becomes y equal to u raised to the power of 2. Meanwhile, u is representing everything here. So this time, I'm going to differentiate this y with respect to u. And if I do that, what I will be having here is 2u raised to the power of 1, which is the same thing as 2u. Now, I have successfully differentiated all this function. What I will need to do is to quote the formula of chain rule which involves, remember you are looking for dy over dx and the formula is dy over du dot dot signifies multiplication dot du over dx du over dx so what we need to do now is to substitute all the parameters we've gotten already into this expression meanwhile if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel Please, you have this great opportunity to help me subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, if you've not subscribed or maybe like my video, follow me on TikTok or Instagram. Please, just check on my bio. You can be able to see where you can be able to link into those places. Thank you very much and stay blessed. So, dy over dx, we call to dy over du is 2u dot du over dx is 3x squared. Therefore, dy over dx be equal to, what is our u? Our u here is 1 plus x raised to the power of 3. So we have 2 into 1 plus x raised to the power of 3 dot 3x squared. And this is the result of this first problem. The y over the x of that problem. I hope that is well clear. So let's see into the solution to the second problem, which has the shape of what we call the, the quotient rule. And if we have to solve that problem, this is what we are going to do as fast as possible. We will assume the numerator here to be our u and then the denominator to be our v. That way, I can easily spell out that u equal to 1 minus x squared so that I can differentiate this u with respect to x. And that will give us minus 2x. Because the variation of a constant, we said it earlier, is 0. And the variation of x squared is 2x. This negative sign follows this. And that's how we have it there. Again, v is equal to 1 plus x squared. All right? So if you check the derivative of v with respect to x the result of this will be just to x all right we've done the necessary thing we are supposed to do 
So now we are looking for dy over dx, the, checking for the derivative of this y with respect to x. So what we need to do is to quote the formula of quotient rule that dy over dx is equal to v du over dx minus u dv over dx all over v squared. All right? So now dy over dx will be equal to what is our v? Our v is 1 plus x squared. And what is du over dx? du over dx is minus 2x. Minus, what is our u? Our u is, we have to open a parenthesis so that it will enter the value of u, which is 1 minus x squared. All right? And then, if you like, I put it in the bracket. And then what is dv over dx? dv over dx is 2x. Let's close the parenthesis. All over, what is our V? Our V is 1 plus X squared. And V is squared here, yeah? so we have to square it here. All right, let's take it up. So at this point, if we clear the bracket, you observe that minus 2X will multiply by 1. And minus 2X will also multiply by X squared. And if minus 2X multiplies by 1, we will have that dy over the x be equal to minus 2x multiplied by 1 will give us minus 2x. Again, minus 2x multiplied by plus x squared will give us minus 2x raised to the power of 3. On this part, 2x times 1 will give us, remember there is a minus sign here, will give us minus 2x. Again, minus will affect this minus to be plus. And 2x times x uh, squared will give us my, or plus 2x cubed all over. What we have at the denominator is 1 plus x squared all raised to the power of 2. Uh, so here we have dy over the x equal to, you can observe that this minus 2x squared uh, cubed plus 2x cubed will cancel out. Because they are common. And again, we have a negative sign there. And we have a positive sign. So it cancels out. That is 2x cubed minus 2x cubed with 0. And what will be left is minus 2x minus 2x. That will give us minus 4x. Divide by 1 plus x squared all squared. This is the solution of this second problem. Please, if you enjoy the tutorials, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also like this video and share if necessary thank you very much and please stay subscribed if you subscribe already if not subscribe please click the subscribe button thank you very much and stay tuned